Hey guys, Aaron here. Um, watching a little bit of the World Baseball Classic right now. Uh, replay from last last night. Didn't get a chance to see it. Um, I know I've shown a bunch of new stuff lately, but I've got a ton of vintage. I just haven't had a chance to put together a video for you guys. Um, I, I, I'm really going to try to break it down. So, like, what I'm going to show you today is, like, uh, some 56 tops that I uh, recently picked up. And I'll definitely do videos for other stuff as well. Uh, but right off, let's just get to it. First of all, picked up this Red Sox, uh, Frank Sullivan. Really good, solid picture for the Red Sox back in his day. Remember the Boston Red Sox Hall of Fame? I'm pretty sure. Um, Two-time All-Star, led the league in wins in 1955. All right. Norm Zouchin. This guy, his rookie year, um, came in third third in the rookie of the year voting for the American League. 27 home runs in 1955. Ended his career with 50 home runs. Just kind of goes to show what a humbling game baseball can be. You know, obviously 27 home runs in your first year. You know, things are looking up and up, but uh, it's a tough game, and it just goes to show. But nonetheless, fa what a fantastic uh, year that guy had. I'm sure that must have meant a lot to him, and I certainly love this card. Another Red Sox card here. Frank Malzone. This guy was a fixture at third base for the Red Sox for a long time. Six-time All-Star. 133 home runs. I think 133 home runs, that career total is the most of any Red Sox third baseman for a career. I could be wrong on that. Uh, I know that number sounds incredibly low, but I, I, I think I'm, at, I'm right on on this one. I could be wrong. If somebody knows, uh, you know, certainly correct me. Um, all these cards I picked up, by the way, were at auction, and these were all relatively inexpensive cards. Every one of these is under $10. Most of them like around $4, $5 with the exception of the last card that I'll show you. Andy Pafko, tremendous, tremendous baseball player, center fielder. Um, this guy had a long, illustrious career, uh, 17 years. He was a four-time All-Star, uh, 213 career home runs, finished with a 285 batting average. I think this guy would be a fun guy to collect. Um, one, he was a great player. Two, those cards aren't that aren't that expensive, uh, with the exception of the 52 tops. I believe uh, it was a pretty tricky card to get. It's the first card in the series, and obviously 52 tops is an iconic set, so that card can be pretty pricey. Uh, put it put it this way: this guy played so long that he played in a Cubs World Series, so that, that was quite a while uh, prior to this past season. Larry Doby, I don't need to say a whole lot about this guy. Um, I think pretty much everybody knows about Larry Doby. Awesome, awesome hitter. Hall of Famer. Uh, you know, finished with a 283 career batting average. The guy could hit 253 home runs. Again, super excited to get this card. And I don't really need to say much for about Larry Doby. The the name spe you know speaks uh, speaks volumes. All right, this one here, uh, this next card. This is just a replacement card. Um, Carl Spooner. Um, I, I have, um, I've always been working on the 56 Dodgers. I think I only need like one, I think one card left to complete it. But at any rate, this is just a card, kind of an upgrade over what I um, currently had. So I figured out what the heck I'd get it. It was only a couple bucks. Didn't realize that those, kind of a weird cut to the card, but oh well, this was like two bucks. All right, lastly here, this is the one I spent the big bucks on. This was like 10 bucks, but I needed this for my 56 Dodger set. The Duke, Don Newcomb. Super excited about getting this one. Four-time All-Star, Cy Young Award winner, Rookie of the Year. Can't say enough about Don Newcomb. He was just a fantastic pitcher. You know he's a you know he's a, a Dodger favorite to this day. I mean, he's he's beloved. Um, he, he was dominant in his day. Yeah, maybe his career stats at the end of the day aren't up there with some of these Hall of Famers. But, you know, in that period of time when he pitched, he was a, a dominant, dominant pitcher. 
uh, and and believe me, a lot, uh, the lineups from the other teams just feared facing this guy. Alrighty, guys, so that's all. That's it for now. Um, hope everyone's collections are going well. Opening day is coming up fairly soon here, so uh, till next time. Later.